thanks very much uh, to the e-learning team um, for giving me this opportunity to bring myself and the students who've been involved in the module. Unfortunately, we can't bring all the students because they spread across the world. We just have two of the UWC students here, and, but I think it will be very interesting for you to hear about their experiences of being involved. I must say, I have um, found being involved in a module like this to be very enriching. And it's made me a little bit dissatisfied with just working um, in this particular environment with undergraduate students because I really felt that I was intellectually fed by being involved with this module, both by the facilitators and the students. And I have already spoken at Public Health because one of their students took the module just explained a little bit about what the course was about and I don't want to bore them too much so I'm going to race through the assignments and that sort of thing. Um, I also presented at the South African Health Educators Conference. You will see in the handouts that they, the handouts I forgot to give on Saturday. So I thought um, you know if you were interested you could just have one of them. Um, so I'm Really, it will be more about what the students are saying and what they learnt on this module. But just to put it in perspective, um, it's a collaborative module um, which has been designed by academics from UWC, Makarere University, Bar Ilan in Israel, U University of Maryland, USA, and the University of the West Indies, Jamaica. And um, I'm really going to be concentrating on the 2007 version of the course, but we did run it in 2005. And then we met in 2006 for an intensive week in July last year, where we worked day and night um, re-looking the module. It really is quite a lot of work. And I think after running it, we will have to re-look again. Um, so it really focuses on developing interdisciplinary and transcultural perspectives on what constitutes and contributes to women's health and well-being in various sociocultural and historical contexts. This is just a picture of the people who are both involved in designing the module and in um, facilitating. Um, the person right on, the, on your right um, is from Jamaica, she's a, a distance educator and she didn't take part in the facilitation because her students weren't involved this year. But the other four of us were the facilitators of the module. Um, it's an entirely e-learning postgraduate uh, module and the one thing it does assume is access to a computer and internet connection which is not always easy. For example, the, um, the Masters in Public Health student had to move 200 kilometers away from where he was residing to take part in a chat session where he couldn't even manage to contact us in the end. But he also moved so that he could get access to an internet connection. Um, the, it's really an interactive course where students are interacting with their virtual classmates both using synchronous, that's chat at the same time, and asynchronous, which is discussion forums and emails, um, to engage in teaching and learning with each other. Um, and they also engage in research activities. Um, it, the course uses a social constructivist um, notion of teaching, which um, informed our design. We wanted to tap into students' situated knowledges and use their prior learning experiences and then to get them to interact and engage in collaborative sense-making. Um, we looked at women's health and well-being and the way in which it can be compromised or enhanced across various contexts and they did a research project. So they were, at the end of the module, they, were, they should and this is what you should look at in the students' um, input, they should have been able to assess factors that contribute to or constitute women's health. 
um, assess factors that could enhance or compromise health and well-being, work collaboratively with other students, um, construct knowledge with respect to how well-being is constructed and experienced in local and in international context. And then they had to develop an interview schedule, conduct a qualitative interview, reflexively engage with their own and others' findings, and develop themes. And they were taken through this step by step. Um, the assessment was cumulative and um, facilitated both independent and group activities. Um, they, I've said that they collaborated across geographical locations and the, the facilitator was um, a facilitator rather than an expert in the field. So you were there to support students to show that you were there to interact with them. But I mean, I myself am certainly not an expert on women's health. My field is more social well-being. Um, we try to develop authentic tasks and what we mean by authentic is something which really puzzled us and which, to which we didn't know the answer and which we were genuinely interested in what students made of the question. Um, most people think in an ICT environment people would feel very isolated but research has shown that the opposite occurs. You develop closer and I know that Derek Keats says that his closest friends, I've heard, are internet connections rather than face-to-face. -face. I just heard someone saying that. Um, so you should be present, though. The students should feel your presence. We had 11 assignments, and students complained that no sooner had they finished the one that they were, than they were on to the other. It started off with a personal journal on health and well-being and discussion with virtual classmates in a huge forum of 50 students. Rather overwhelming to look through all these responses. Then um, they read information on readings, Martha Nussbaum and a couple of other people. They then chose a particular focus area, mental health, reproductive health, bodily integrity and social well-being. And from then on they went into the small community of practice or um, little group. They then had to compare their, each other's understandings of the readings and then they had to develop questions and then look at the, the um, virtual classmates' questions and develop two others that they hadn't thought of before. That was for their interview. They then identified a woman in their family or community to interview and conducted the interview and posted the edited version on site. In future, they could also now send a podcast of the interview. Um, they looked at social relations and looked at the interview reflexively. Um, they analyzed first two interviews conducted by their virtual classmates, and then they were looking at themes across everyone's interviews. Um, And then they had to have a chat in real time where they, they discussed the final assignment, which was a wiki project that they were developing, and they, decide, they were to decide who was to do what. Um, and then they, they developed a specific theme that they looked at and um, looked at, they developed an annotated bibliography of three references relative, relevant to their group topic. And then their final project, they had to look at the general global situation with specific reference to their interests like mental health or well-being. They had to look at each group's local situation with regard to the topic, emerging issues raised by the interviewees in the global and local context, local and global policy implications and recommendations, and then they had to upload this onto the wiki. Now, what I want each one of you to do is to look at the wiki, look at that space, and I'm going to give you the address to get onto when I've finished... Um, telling you what the students said about it. Then the, the final thing was a reflective paper where they reflected on their learning experiences. 
they also had to evaluate each gr other group's topic according to criteria and uh, they had to participate in a video conference across locations. They had to also evaluate their group members' participation. This is just the conference that uh, was held where we were all part of it at UWC and the students spoke across locations. We tried to put students from different countries into the same group so that they were working across geographical locations. And I think um, Carolyn has these pictures. There were rubrics for every single assign, uh, every single task, and if you like, I could show them to you online, but I'm not going to go into detail. Um, these are just examples of how students learn from each other. This student says, thanks for your journal entry. I myself defined health very differently from you as a physical component of well-being, but at the same time, I don't disagree with your definition at all. I think it's also related to how we define women's physical health. Is it only our ability to reproduce reproductive genital breast health issues, or is, health, is, is it the health of entire, women's entire body? Seeing women's health, health only as reproductive, whether it is from a cultural view of women as nurturing or from a medical perspective, can actually harm women's overall health and well-being. And then she responds, I'll try to clarify my definitions. I do not define women's health through our ability to reproduce, etc. Like you, I believe that health is related to the body as a whole and to the soul as well. I forgot to emphasize it before. I could not agree more with your second remark. According to the biomedical approach, women are nothing but fragmented organs, uterus and ovaries, and therefore our main job is to reproduce. This woman had written a book on how she reclaimed her uterus from male gynecologists in Israel um, by joining a virtual group. So she was uh, quite um, sort of inflamed about the topic. Um, what students noticed was how people from different locations interpreted health. While the more Western-oriented placed emphasis on physical state of fitness, the Filipina placed emphasis on information and the need for assistance in household chores. While the Africans and Middle Eastern experienced women were more concerned about the basic issue of freedom to control aspects of life such as making decisions about their own life and environment. This is just an example of a discussion forum. I'm going to show you the wiki. You can have a look at it yourself. Um, this student says that she has a greater understanding of how wealth, health and well-being are viewed differently. In Africa, it's viewed from a survival standpoint, as opposed to the US, where women were more concerned with self-determination. Um, and this is a, a man who works for the WHO. He says, hitherto my notion about women health and well-being was biomedical and culturally defined. Despite encounters with situations of power and gender disparity, the contribution of my colleagues and facilitator and the general content of the course have changed all that. And he talks about part community participation as an effective approach. Um, this is more on how health and well-being um, were seen. Their feedback on the module, as students said in their reflective essays, I thought it was great to begin with the main topic, which is women's health and well-being, then go deeper into the areas we found more interesting. But it was pleasant to be able to read about all those topics at the end of the course and able to extend my knowledge as well. And this person says it wasn't a textbook version of women's health and well-being, but focused on the practicality and reality of how women feel. The interviews, for instance, provided an awareness of women's health and well-being that perhaps a regular classroom-type setting of learning cannot provide. Um, they liked interacting. What I liked that we were able to assess and be assessed by our own class members. I really enjoyed doing the interview since it was the first interview that I did in my life using a tape recording. They said that they like to give comments on their virtual classmates' work and they also like to be given comments by them. Um, 
So they found it in the, the whole interactive part of the course very enjoyable. Um, they found it unique that there was this international perspective and um, that, you know, that you were looking at the different countries and the issues that women were facing. Um, it says the interviews in Africa, because they use such candor in describing daily interactions that affect gender issues. Um, these were the sorts of difficulties. I didn't enjoy the group work because it was difficult to get hold of my other classmates, even though I was using email. I prefer to work on my own because then I'm the only one to blame and I will do as well as I can, but working in groups is never fair. Some members have more to do than others. And then somebody said that the readings could, should have come earlier, the annotated bibliographies. You will also see that on the wiki. Um, there were complaints about internet facilities. At Makarere University, students had a lot of difficulty gaining access to computers, and um, also in Nigeria. So um, that was a huge problem. Also, the, the slowness of the connection was a problem. Um, and the, also, this, the course assumes all the participants are full-time students. I know the nursing students at UWC had huge problems because they, they were working all day and then had to come home. And it's either very expensive or else, you know, you, you're running around trying to find a computer. Some, like me, are distance part-time students who may travel out of their usual locations during the course of their study. The course gives no room for this in the scheduling. Time schedules um, for assignments are too close, and no sooner does one end than the other one becomes 